where we're going to start right now is like the main lifeguard tower that is at the beach. We have cleansed this tower for other survivors to come over here to safety because they have been trapped in another beach hut at the end of the beach. And uh, together with Sinamoy, who is a lifeguard that is like the leader of the bunch, we are now settling this up as a safe hub for the survivors over there. And now that we have done that, we can actually talk to all those survivors, find out more about them, get quests from them and missions. You did good, my friends. We're safe now thanks to you. But we won't make it long without food. If help don't come soon, we're gonna have to head to town. I'll try and find a ride. Maybe you could see if anybody here needs help. So this is Cinemoy, that is the lifeguard that actually we have been talking about right now that has pretty much saved us when we were back in the hotel. And from this point on we could go everywhere pretty much because this is open world environment so we can actually walk around here, go over there, take down the road at the beach, go up to the hotel or just go up to the lighthouse where we do want to go at this stage. So for that reason I'm right now going to talk to Dominic and that is an NPC that is trying to repair the antenna on the roof of this tower. This is hopeless! I'm going to use a workbench and I'm going to repair my baseball bat. But downstairs here, there is like way more stuff to do. There's a doctor trying to build up kind of a hospital here and, and searching for stuff. There's Hank here who's trying to repair the car that we could then use if we help him with that mission. And some other survivors in here that we could talk to. So on this way, of course, I'm going to meet zombies that's going to be attacking me. And uh, I have the possibilities to actually fight against them in melee combat using my knife. It's a short range weapon, so other weapons are going to have a higher range. For example, the baseball bat is more useful when it comes to range attacks. I'm going to have to do the kick to actually get some distance between me and the zombies. And also I could throw my weapons towards the zombies when they attack me. I set you free. So these are my first enemies. So as you can see, this was now vessel zombies. These zombies are more like the weakest zombies in the game. They are more like dangerous when they're in groups. But uh, in this case, they were standing up. I had enough time to actually get my weapons ready, destroy them. And you have different hit zones. So basically, you can hit them in the head, you can break their arms, break their legs, and just go tactically for whatever the zombies is going to be that attacks you. So a fast zombie, you want to go for the legs. A zombie with a weapon in his hand, you want to go for the arms and stuff like that. But also, you have the possibility to actually use the surroundings to get rid of the zombies. Like in this case, there was a propane tank back there that I used. So in this resort area, we just left the lifeguard tower and I'm now going to enter the bungalow area. So again, they're going, there's going to be NPCs we can, met, we can meet in here. There's going to be zombies attacking us and there's also going to be like side missions we can take on the way. So pretty much when I hit the zombies, I don't want to just run in and hack and slash because I'm going to run out of stamina at one point. So I want to be sure that I hit where at the head or the leg wherever I want to hit to and don't just like slice and slice and slice because else I will be left defenseless in the middle of the fight because I have out of stamina I'm going to get like in a defensive pose and nothing else is going to be possible for me. And now that I'm going to pass this bungalow I'm going to see that there's actually a lady standing in there and she's asking for our help. In this case I just don't want to help her so I'm going to take her car and just leave her alone here. So yeah, you can take the car and you can drive over the island. It's one thing is a transport, of course. You can get from A to B way faster using a car, but the other thing it's actually fun to go through the zombies and drive them into pieces. The other option that you have in the game is actually to take the fast travel system. So in the save hubs, there's going to be the possibility to actually get to a map and then say, I want to go to this area now, I want to go to this area now because the island is so big that else you're just going to be walking around forever. So these are the three options we give to you if you want to go to the different areas. So we're closing into the lighthouse and here is another group of survivors that are trying to be safe from attacking zombies. So we get out of our car and are going to be welcomed by a guy that has seen us before. I can't believe you're alive. When we left Cinemoy, you looked like Jesus. Anyway, you better go see to James. I'm sure he'll be surprised as hell to see you still alive and kicking. Follow me, I'll take you to James. So we follow him inside, and I'm going to go to talk to James, who is kind of the leader of this bunch of people here. I'm James. You don't know me, but I sure remember you. So I'm going to take this mission. I'm going to be able now to talk to all the people in the lighthouse, again, getting new missions, getting to know them, and their different perspective on the whole situation. See what you can do to help, okay? 
So going downstairs again, uh, I could now talk to all these people. I can uh, pick up stuff like the med kit that will be useful and just search the whole thing for my more material. So we get out here and I'm going to take another way than the minimap shows me because I don't want to use the car. Dead forever. So as you can see here, some people actually try to spell help us with suitcases and crates. And a break the leg there. And off goes the head. So now what you can see here is the infected zombies. They're way faster, way more aggressive. And instead of just stumbling towards us like this vessel zombies, they're going to be really a pain in the ass when they attack you. So whenever you get into a group of zombies, pick your first target wisely because if you just pick the vessel zombie, the other zombies, if they're like infected, are just going to plain destroy you. You hear her voice from time to time with a one-liner. What we want to do in the game right now is that in the beginning of the game she's going to be like more afraid, she's going to be like a little anxious, and later on when she has killed like 100 zombies, she's going to be like way toughened up and she's going to be way cooler when the zombies attack. And that you will hear from her reactions when she has more skills, she has adapted new possibilities, she's going to be way tougher. So we're closing in onto her goal. What we want to do with the game here is that we show the beauty of the island that has turned bad. And so this is one of the best places to actually show that. That you would still think about, oh this is a nice place to actually go on holiday and uh, to relax for a couple of days. But at the same time you're going to be constantly attacked by zombies and people trying to eat your brain. Here you can see that the island was once beautiful and really like a place where you might go, like to go with your girlfriend or whatever and just like say like, whoo, nice and quiet here. <laughs> Another way what I can do is like if there are like five or six zombies attacking me, I can go into my special skill and just slash through them. And that skill, she is kind of in rage mode and she's going to attack violently and cutting down everything that is on her way. So in here you see like a big vessel zombie and that's like a mini boss right now here. If he's going to hit me, then I'm not going to stay on my feet. So you have to be careful while attacking him. In the background of the game, what is actually happening, there's a storm coming to the island. So now that we're going to swap on the city, you are going to see the sky is darker, there might be rain coming down, and so everything is going to be more destroyed because it's later on in the process of the story. So Moresby is kind of the capital of the, of the island. It's like the biggest town there, and like all the real Banoi people live there. And so the vibe of this whole thing is not like tourists anymore. It's not going to be all people in bikinis and bathing trunks and stuff like that. So it's more going to be like the real Banoians. So you can hear the bells while this cutscene is running and this is pretty much a problem of the people that are in the church because that church is actually a safe zone like a nun has actually brought people over there and those people are caught in there because this ram zombie is pretty much blocking the door and trying to get in there because he's attracted by the bells and all the other zombies are also attracted by the bells. So our main goal here right now is going to be finish off the bells have them quiet down and then the people are going to be safe again. But first of all, I want to show you the town a little bit. The whole city has been way destroyed because the zombies have pretty much taken over and everything looks completely messy. So also we have new weapons right now. The machete is a really great weapon, especially for Xang Mei. Doing massive amount of damage and cutting off limbs. Maybe go for the head. Off it goes. So I'm going to make use of my rifle right now just to show you the shooting mechanics once. But um, of course the game is trying to get mainly into melee combat because it's more realistic and normally as a normal visitor on the island you're not going to be able to actually use uh, pistols and guns all of the time primarily because they're not there. So it's going to be focusing on melee combat but we give you the option to also go into the rifle topic. So you can see of course the rifles are really effective so we really keep it down to minimum because we want you to feel like you're really in close combat with a couple of guys who's they're trying to eat your brain pretty much. And this whole survival feeling is best with a melee combat. <laughs> there is another zombie that is actually really cool because you can use him in different ways. But when you get too close to him, what he's going to do is he's going to try to explode and take you down with himself. I'm going to take the fight on with the ram zombie and he's really tough guy. So he's surrounded by a kind of auxiliary zombies here that is going to help him out but he's actually going to take them down if they stand in his way because he's really going for it. Are you going to say to have several of those guys running around? I mean they have a background story and the reason that they are on the island but um, it's not just going to be like one or whatever. It's the Lord's will that you be here. Agreed? So this is Helen, the nun that is actually taking care of this group and she's asking us to now get rid of the zombie that is blocking the, the bell mechanic. I will also build the sticky bomb craft 
that is pretty much a knife that has C4 on it. So when you throw it towards an enemy, it's going to explode when it gets stuck in the zombie. So let's see if I can get him with a sticky bomb. Yeah. So this guy shouldn't do any more hurt. You can see, again, gory mess here. But as you can see now, when we go out here, it's way darker. The weather has changed, we have now rain coming down, it's really moody right now. So from the whole sunny beach atmosphere that we had before, we are now in this completely destroyed city and everything is dark and it's raining and so we have completely different moods there. On top of that, you can also get into buildings and when you are in the building and using your flashlight, of course, the atmosphere is going to be completely different too. So um, there's really a huge variety of things you can actually do on the island and it's going to feel different all the time. A big, big island that leaves a lot of stuff to do, 25 to 30 hours of gameplay in there. We have four player called multiplayer in there, you can play the whole story with friends together, it's seamless, drop in, drop out. A lot of stuff to do, a lot of things to experience, four different characters, four different character classes. At E3 we're going to show you more of the city and you're going to be playing multiplayer with four players and you're going to have the full multiplayer experience there. Um, we're looking forward to show you more moving on. There's no end to them.